No new concrete batch plant. I'm your Nampa neighborhood reporter Keith Burrell and I was at Monday City Council meeting where City Council decided to uphold the Planning and Zoning Director's decision to revoke Sunrock's first conditional use permit. Nampa neighbors were cheering as they left City Hall after Monday City Council meeting. Nampa Council members heard from Sunrock's attorney and the city's planning and zoning director over the process and order in which work was completed on the site owned by Sunrock just south of the Nampa Airport's runway. That the work that was performed in the summer of 2023 was, was completed in compliance with the applicable laws and ordinances of the city of Nampa. And the failure to secure a demolition permit prior to work done on the property was a violation of prescribed conditions of approval and the CUP was revoked. Ultimately, City Council unanimously voted to deny the appeal of Sunrock and not allow the construction of the concrete batch plant. Rodriguez. Yes. Chingula. Yes. Hills. Yes. Harrowfield. Yes. Griffin. Yes. Reynolds. Yes. So that includes someone on our agenda this evening. Sunrock sent me their statement shortly after the chambers cleared of Nampa neighbors. We will continue our efforts to help build the community of Nampa. Every home, road, and building needs affordable concrete. That means we will continue to pursue every possible option. Outside, one of the residents in attendance was glad that council members heard what the residents were saying. They already bought the land. They already messed around with the land. They already destroyed property on the land, did demolition, all that kind of stuff. So they're, financial, they're fiscally vested in the whole situation. So they'll stay on it. Monday is not the end of Sunrock's appeals process. A future meeting will be held to hear Sunrock's appeal, a planning and zoning's decision to not issue a second conditional use permit from February. From Nampa City Hall, I'm your Nampa neighborhood reporter, Keith Burrell for Idaho News 6.